We are going on a dive here today. Really excited. Thanks to Anna Lee for giving us a little push to go diving. It's gonna be fun. After a few great dives at Chub Key, we made our way to the Sapona in Bimini. Since steel was in short supply during World War I, the Sapona was one of a fleet of ships that was constructed of concrete. Said to have been built by Henry Ford himself, it was completed just a little too late for the war effort and was sold to Carl Fisher, a major developer in Miami Beach. Big fins! <laughs> Huge After the war, it was sold to Mr. Bruce Bethel, who took it to Bimini to use as a warehouse for alcohol during Prohibition. He had intended to set it up as a nightclub, but alas, the ship ran aground in 1926. It lies in just 15 feet of water and has transitioned into a beautiful marine habitat that's popular with snorkelers and divers alike. Right there, right there. Free trip? Amazing trip. So this is it. This is our final day in Bahamas after three to four months. Had a lot of guests come on board, family. Huge memories. Family. I got the last week. It's great. She's the uh, our fireworks finale here. Got some diving in, got some kiting in, got some more diving in. Nope. It's beautiful. We didn't catch any fish. That's okay. We had lots of fish on board. We had the most amazing hogfish over in Chub Key. If anyone goes to the restaurant there, unbelievable. Yeah, so now we'll go back to Florida and uh, get some work done on hang time, clear everything out, all the stoves a lot of our gear and stuff and uh, refresh the boat uh, for next May. And if all goes well, we will sail it to... The drum roll. The med. We think that's the current plan is to, uh, yeah, take it to the Mediterranean. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense yet. Timing wise, kids in school, everything, but like everything, we kind of feel like it will somehow work out. And we'll just let it come, let it uh, let it come into play, and have fun with it. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Um, we were talking about selling it. Every time we said it, there's oh, like no. a huge hole in our heart. Oh no! Selling? We're selling? It? <laughs> selling? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just it just even the word it just sounds bad. So people say the best day of boating is the day you buy it, the day you sell it. I'm disagreeing on the day you sell it because I'll be pretty sad the day I sell this boat. Well, I think that just means we're not ready. Yeah. It still feels sad. Yeah. Yep, TZ had a bad passage back in the fall coming down, or we did, but see, it's long forgotten. She's ready for the next thing. 
which is awesome. Well, I haven't yet offered to do the Atlantic Passage, but... Yeah. So we'll be looking for crew if, it, uh, if everything comes together here, but we'll give you some updates on the uh, progress of hang time, work, things we find out, our fun in Hawaii, and uh, we need to get into foiling here, so that's going to be our next sport. Lots of foiling. And Annalie has e an entire... E-foiling, wing foiling, kite foiling, boat foiling, wave foiling. How many, how many foils do you have? Yeah but, fine. yeah, but if I put this in the video, it's going to be outdated by the time I post the video because she'll have more. Yeah, so. yeah. We can't keep up to her. So we're checked out of Bahamas and just having our quick breakfast in Bimini and we are going to get out of here. It should be a good day to cross the Gulf Stream, 40 miles, and we hope to land over in Fort Lauderdale. It's okay, just my legs. It's fine. We've got water on starboard, water on starboard. Water on port, Swab. We're leaving Bahamas, Mom, what do you say? What do you say? Ruby, how do you feel we're leaving Bahamas? We're leaving Bahamas. driving the boat anyway. Because the autopilot's broken. Yeah. Um, it's broken, uh, so we have to hand steer. Is it a big job? I mean, without it, we'd crash into the ocean. There's not really a lot of stuff around us, but um, yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of a lot of responsibility for an 11-year-old to be driving a boat in the big blue. We got hang time safely to Florida and eventually up to Georgia where she's sitting dry as we take a break from boat life. We have a big trip planned this fall on another boat in an amazing location, so make sure you subscribe so you can see how it goes. Thanks again for watching, it's so much fun chronicling and sharing these adventures.